All right, one of the primary things you need to do when you need fuel is you need to kind of approach the Starfarer. And you definitely want to get yourself uh, some orientation uh, orientated to the craft exactly the way you need to be. So let's go ahead and approach the Starfarer and you can see we're just going to kind of go from the from the pilot viewpoint here. You can see there's the here's the front of the Starfarer. We're just going to pivot around at one time and um, take a look here now. You can see here the next thing you, you want to do, and I'm just going to go ahead and if you wouldn't mind, uh, uh, would you go ahead and extend the boomies? So one of the most important things is to not line up to the Starfarer too close to the boom or, or too close behind it before the boom is extended. So you really do want to make sure that the, that the boom is extended. And so, and I just wanted to kind of, you know, give you a visual of that. So with the boom extended, here's what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to definitely, you def this is really the position you want to be in, right? You want to kind of be towards the bottom of the craft, kind of lining up on the boom. And once, you, once you've done that, then you can actually go ahead and target the star fear. And then what you're going to want to do is hit N. And that is initiating a docking request. And I've initiated a docking request. I don't know if you see that or not. Docking request Alright, so they've approved the docking request. Now it's just a question of kind of just, if you just kind of, uh, you want to kind of move in till you get to a certain, you start seeing some green there. Docking At that point, you just hit N one time. I've taken my finger off of N. So I've just clicked N one time. You can notice at first the, the, the um, articulating ball was red and then it turned green. And as soon as it, it turned green, I just hit N one time. And now my hands, I haven't touched the stick since then. And I'm gonna go ahead and automatically approach here. And so my hands are not on the stick. I'm approaching, but this is all being handled by the auto docking sequence and just kind of let it do its thing. Now it says engaging docking clamps, you can see that. And now the docking is complete. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit F1. And at this point is when I'm gonna to go to uh, request the fuel, right? And I'm gonna um, uh, try and get uh, that tank full and that tank full and that tank full. And then I'm gonna go ahead and confirm purchase. And at this point, uh, the, um, the Starfair team will go ahead and do what they need to do on the UI. Uh, essentially, what they're doing is they've already set a hydrogen cost. And for our demonstration here, because it's an organization event, the cost is at zero. Um, and then um, once they, you know, once we confirm the, the fueling, uh, they then use the UI to open up the, uh, to open up the tanks and then they'll begin that, that stuff will be in flowing into the, uh, you know, to the ladies very shortly. You can see now the transaction details begin to change. Uh, the hydrogen tanks have gone up, and now we've got uh, uh, a request for quantum. And so inside the star fair, they have to make a, a small adjustment where they stop kind of sending in hydrogen, and then they start sending in quantum fuel. And we've, got, we've, as you can see now, it says transfer successful. All my tanks are full. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F1. This brings me out of uh, the uh, the UI. I'm gonna hit N on the keyboard. Launch initiated. And that's a launch initiated. Then the most important thing is is that is uh, is it looked like uh, it looked like there was a um, a bit of a. Um, a a jump away there uh, you don't want to move like once it, you know once you kind of disengage you don't necessarily want to to make any sudden movements right uh, sometimes you're gonna be able to just kind of dip and go away uh, and I mean by when I say dip I mean go uh, go down but notice in this particular case the Starfair actually um, 
it actually kind of hyperspaced behind me or just kind of blinked behind me. That is one of the issues with the current uh, refueling, but it is something you should be aware of. No sudden movements after you disengage by hitting N uh, and, the, and, the, and the clamps disengage. The most important thing is you get a little uh, spatial awareness and now I'm able to pull away and we're off.